Hello everyone and welcome back to Cha Ching. Hey guys, Adana, do you notice anything different about me today? Um, not really, you look perfectly average, I guess. How could you not notice? I'm one of the new Super Eagle judges that they won in AFCON. Took me months to save up for it and buy it. And now I'm going to wear it on my trip to South Africa. Oh, that's the difference. Yeah, it looks decent. Anyway, speaking of holidays, how's the planning and budgeting going? It's great. I've been booking the hotel and some of the other things online with my credit card and it's just so convenient. Amaka, please don't tell me this is going where I think it is. What do you mean? When I pay for these things, the money isn't even leaving my bank account. It feels like I'm not even spending my real money. Do you realize that you have to pay it all back, right? Yes, but within my holiday budget anyway. Yeah, but what about the interest payments? Are those within your budget or whatever credit card fees your company might have? Well, I hadn't thought about that at first. See, that's the problem with people like you and credit cards. You think you can just spend, spend, spend with no consequences. But guess what, Emeka? You always have to pay it back Okay, in the end. okay. I'd rather get lectured by the Cha-Ching Band. So let's just get on to the video, innit? Hey, Prudence, would you mind checking the fuse box? It's out the back. Okay. Hey, and Huddle, it's Prudence's birthday soon, and we're going to throw her a surprise party. Cha-Ching has money saved from the last gig. Party time! If all the party starts, we need to buy a few things. We have $200 in the bank account of Cha-Ching. Buy party supplies to throw this excellent bash. Gotta go electronic, and it's done in a flash. To make the party feel wow! Tunes, buy now, food, buy now, yeah. buy now, now! Invitations go now by phone and by text. For less than $200, the party is next. How much? A hundred and fifty dollars more? How did this happen? But we have fifteen dollars cash left over. We totally stuck to the budget of two hundred dollars. Did you really? I don't think so. How did you pay for the DJ? Credit card? There's invisible charges there, Pepper. The invitations? Our phones. There's invisible charges there, too. You spent almost two hundred dollars cash plus a hundred and fifty dollars. Right, everyone. Hand them over. No more spending invisible money until we've paid what we owe. But how are we going to pay what we owe? Okay, we don't have enough money in the bank, so the bank will pay our bills for now. But every month they will charge us interest for lending us what we don't have. So we'll have to work to pay it off as quickly as possible. Invisible, invisible money. Our debt. Party time! Oh, Pepper! Oh, that video was terrifying. I am never shopping online again. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You can still shop online. You just have to be a bit more mindful of what you're spending and how. Wait, so those fees at the end were credit card fees, right? Yeah, with credit cards, you can get charged for a bunch of different things, like spending in another currency, getting cash at the ATM, or even just fees you pay every single year to the credit card company. But how can I get charged for spending my own money? That's ridiculous. Well, the thing is, when you shop with a credit card, it isn't actually your money. It's not coming from your bank account. It's money that you borrow from the bank and you have to pay back every month with interest. Oh, so it's like 
interest, mm -hmm. but instead of being the reward for saving, it's the extra cost of what I'm borrowing. Exactly, and these fees can really add up. Like what happened to the cha-ching ban in the video, especially if you don't pay on time, because the interest gets higher and higher the longer you don't pay it. That sounds like a situation you definitely want to avoid. Yeah. And luckily, we have just the perfect person here today to give us a bit more info on this topic. Today's guest is a very special one. If you didn't know, my full name is Adana Okoli, and our guest Guest name is Sonia De Akoli, so I think that gives you enough of a clue. Hello, Mrs. Akoli. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Hi, Emeka. Good to see you. Hi, Mother. Fancy seeing you here. Hello, Adana. Fancy seeing you here. So, could you please introduce yourself to our viewers at home? Hi, I'm Sonia De Akoli. I run Alpha African Advisory, and that's a Lagos-based financial advisory company. Basically we give financial advice to companies. Okay, I have a question for you, Mrs. Akoli. I know this, but just for the viewers at home, can you explain to us what debit cards and credit cards are and the difference between them? Absolutely. So debit cards and credit cards are essentially plastic cards that you use to make payments for online payments, payments in shops, etc. But the big difference between the two is for a debit card, you need to have money in your bank account so that when you make the payment, the bank takes the money directly from your account. Whereas for a credit card, you don't need money already in your bank, but you're, due, you're meant to be paying it monthly. So many people in Africa seem to shy away from credit cards. So apart from any cultural reasons, some say it's because of the charges associated with them. So please, can you explain those a bit more? So, yes, yeah, so it depends on the, the card issuer and the type of card, but there are other associated charges. So in the first instance, you can have um, account fees right, which would be an annual charge that you pay for having that card. You have that more with credit cards than with debit cards, though some banks will still charge you that for a debit card. And then the other big one is interest, and that is related to a credit card, where if you don't pay the amount off in full at the end of the month, then they charge you interest. And if you keep not paying off the amount, you just get interest piling upon interest piling upon interest. So now that we know a little bit more about the two, which one would you recommend for our young viewers? And also some of them are really into, you know, entrepreneurship. So in that case, which of the two cards do you think might be the best fit? I think as a rule, I would always say a debit card because it helps you from not getting yourself into a debt problem. But on occasions or as an exception, if somebody is trying to get into business and this will allow them to be able to either buy goods or services, then you could consider a credit card, but you need to ensure that the profit that you will generate from that business venture exceeds the interest and the other charges you will incur. Thank you very much. So guys, you've heard that debit is generally the way to go, but sometimes you might be leaning towards credit for all our young entrepreneurs. Wow. Now that should help everyone decide what they need. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Mr. Cody. Like, you said such insightful things on debit cards and credit cards. Thank you so much. Bye. See you at home. Thank you for having me and get home on time. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that interview as much as we did. So, as we've learned, debit cards are a much safer bet, but credit cards are also good too, especially if you're a businessman. Well, I just don't see how. With debit cards, I don't have to worry about going into debt mm -hmm. and racking up all of these interest payments fees. That, was, that stuff will mess with my budget. Yeah, that's true, because with debit cards, you can only spend money that you've already earned. However, credit cards also give you a bit of extra flexibility, you know, to purchase necessities that you might not have enough for at that time. And they also let you build your credit history. Uh, what does that mean? Building your credit history means that banks can see you're a man of your word. Whenever you borrow money, you pay it back on time too. It'll help you when you're older and you need a loan for something, like a house. If you don't have a credit history, you might not even be able to get a mortgage. Oh, I got it. So I can use my credit card for emergencies mm -hmm. or necessities 
only when I know I'll be able to pay back on time. On time. Otherwise, let's stick to cash or debit card. Exactly. Okay. That's it. Okay, guys, we have come to the end of today's episode. For today's challenge, we want you to research more pros and cons of credit cards and tell us all about it. You can look it up online, ask a parent, anything. Send in those answers. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and text because we have some amazing prizes up for grabs. And whilst you're at it, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that like button. Don't forget to download the Chachin game and also share a level with us on how much you're able to make. Bye guys, and remember, spend less on credit, just use debit. debit.